And uh, well, what do they call you? Mostly boy. And what do they call you? Fate. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain. I think you've partaken in an fight. Away with you. I am a son of thunder. His thunder! Can I tell if they're drunk or mad? Maybe both. Smell that breath next time. Never lies. Again, you slept with the door open. Oh. Oh. What's this screaming about? It's so loudly. Ugh. Perhaps to make a point, anybody could have pilfered or worse in here. Yeah, well, I'm not dead. Is the kingdom sacked and looted? Sally, I can't tell. What happened was I left you at the garden. Oh, sorry. I think I tried to cook. <sighs> Taking this beautiful morning. Uh, why? And let's lighten some. No. It only allows those thieves you worry about to peer inside freely. Perhaps. <sighs> I brought you your favorite bread. It's fresh. And wine? Later at the market. And what am I supposed to wash this bread down with? Squeezed grape. Squeezed grape? Think of it as wine that is very, very weak. <clears throat> <sighs> that stains. What did you say? Nothing. I'm preparing your gear. My gear? What for? Training this afternoon. You have midday training. Training? Why? A required day of training for all centurions. Why was I not told about this? I told you about this every day for the past three mornings. And I'm obligated to attend. 
Yes. Hmm. Blind centurion. <sighs> Why should I be made to go? Your father would demand it. If not for his status, I'd be in no such position. It's our good fortune your father does hold status. You earn a wage instead of having to beg like all the other blind people. You are blessed. Getting slow, Crispus. Quick enough to best you. Who's a better swordsman, Longinus? It sounds even. <laughs> You're supposed to say me, you blind fool. Vitus the Great. Even blind, he knows. I've always been better with blades. A centurion always remains focused on the task at hand. Sharon will not accept your excuses. I can best you with the spear. Unfortunate for you, that's not what we're training in today. A centurion is versed in all weapons. You feel confident, centurion telling another soldier how to do battle? Draw your sword. You proved your point. I don't think I have. Now draw your sword. Defend yourself, Centurion. That is in order. I will resume the right of Decimadio upon you, you coward! <laughs> <laughs> He's had enough fights. I outrank you, Crispus. I will decide when he has had enough. I'm fine. Again. Again! The one and all! He who does battle with us, he who sheds his blood with us, let it be known that this blind fool represents us all. He should be able to defend himself. He should want to be like us, be one of us. We are only as strong as our weakest link and Longinus, you are our weakest link. Let's talk. I see. I speak the truth. One accidental swing of my sword. And I can remove that weak link. Your status was not earned like ours. You rode in on your father's horse. If this were Sparta, you would have been cast out. He's had enough! Off! To remove the weakest like? face his father's wrath. Disgrace. Wine. I require more wine. Wine. I require more wine. Wine. I require wine. No wine for you. You've been assigned to crowd duty under my command for this afternoon's crucifixion. Give a blind man a spear, and maybe the crowd will fear him. 
Not like me. This is your moment, my son. Remember what you have learned in your weakness. Lead you. Well, Jonas. Perhaps you can strike a target that isn't moving. That was an order, not a request. Lead him. Closer. <clears throat> Closer. Darkness just fell. The rock shook with anger. Odd day. I don't find the darkness odd at all. But the ground shaking as if Hades was opening its gates. I'll tell you that was odd. But the ground moved just as the false prophet was dying. <clears throat> You're acting it out. Yes. You know, I cannot see him. <laughs> okay, so moving rocks, darkness. What are you proposing, that he wasn't a false prophet? Of course he was. Let the followers enjoy their Sabbath. Their Messiah is dead. Many today do not believe him to be false. Fanatics. They say he will rise from the dead on the third day. The only thing that's gonna be arising is a putrid smell from that tomb. Nobody returns from across the river Styx. That's what they would have you believe. <clears throat> you still have blood on you. Seize with your mothering. <laughs> Speaking of mothers, it was a sight today. Shall I remind you again that I like sight? His mother was at his feet. His mother should have persuaded him to pursue his talents elsewhere. Vitus was cruel. He should not have commanded you as he did. To have me poking blindly at some poor soul. I can 
really fulfill my duty. Perhaps he's right. <laughs> he's right? A blind centurion. That would be like a mute singer or a legless dancer. I'm sure many have thought what Vitus has there to say. Have you ever spoken such things about him, Christmas? Not in your presence. <laughs> He's here. I can smell this fancy man always. For the events of this glorious day, not enough for either of you two to bathe. What's that fine beauty that stands next to you, Vitus? <clears throat> you can smell her flowery scent from here. This fine beauty, tis pity you can't see her. I stand before you as a flower, attracting busy little bees, while you two sit in your wretched filth, attracting pesky little flies. <laughs> Do you always have to be so rude? Do you always have to be so sexy? You're welcome. Those Christ followers, they weep as they put his body into the tomb. Centurion guard standing outside, far too respectful if you ask me. Gone are the glory days where they would just feed his scraps to the gods. Well, things have thankfully changed. He will be forgotten it's as soon as the next so-called Messiah arrives. Ah, but until that day, Crispus, let us play on the fame of this one. Attention, everyone, attention! The prophet they call Christ was put to death today. Let us honor the man that delivered the death strike with his almighty centurion spear. Behold, the Christ Slayer. Christ Slayer! I will gladly pay for that spear. I cannot. That belongs to the centurion. Let us talk. You can start by buying me some wine. <laughs> yeah. May I sit with you, Slayer of the Christ? Don't call me that. Everyone's calling you that. Well, you're not everyone. Sit. So heavily upon your sleeping mind. A lion. I. A lion was approaching me while I slept. Could you see in this dream? No. A mallet pounds my head. Oh. <laughs> 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 
my brave centurion bested by a hot drink. Ooh. And I like taking care of you. A novelty on occasion. Not for duty. I can show you that. The wine was flowing freely last night. Everyone wanted to buy the hero a drink. Me? No. <sighs> I'm no hero. Last night you could have fooled me. Allow me to share. I will make another. No, I insist. Take a sip. Do you not trust a blind man? I trust you. What brings you here in your day of rest? That's what I told him. Silence, boy. <sighs> I've been trying to stay awake all day. I can feel those words. <sighs> I am not going to throw my lot in with those fanatics. What happened? Today, people have come in droves to pay their respects and pray. They look at me. I believe we've acted in error. We followed orders. And we will be judged for that. We'll be judged for all of our actions. I fear for you. Boy, take me home. Beg his forgiveness. If he is who he says he was, I can't imagine what lies ahead for you. I appreciate your concern. Feel the sun fading. Can you see anything? No. Two Sabbaths have been celebrated. What ends at sunset? You'd think with this Jesus dead, some of these activities would cease. I think what with everything that happened, he'll be more powerful in death than in life. Perhaps. 
you are part of that. I don't wish to be. You can't change that now. I'm done here. Do you need anything else? No. <clears throat> Go enjoy your evening. Be gone with you, boy. I will return in the morning with the first brand wine. Since when did you start knocking? <sighs> and since when have you started wearing perfumed oils? Good morning. I... Who is this? Mary. Mother of the one they call Jesus of Nazareth. May I come in? Yeah, yes, please. Thank you for seeing me. It's quite unexpected. You are truly blind. Yes, I am. I'm sorry I cannot offer you anything. My, uh, my boy hasn't dropped off this morning's bread. I only want a moment of your time. <sighs> I'm terribly uncomfortable. It is because you feel you ended my son's suffering. I did what I was ordered to do. You had compassion etched upon your face. <sighs> Why do you tremble? I never, I never felt as much. Guilt. to me. I forgive you. And I know he would also forgive you. <sighs> I can say that. It was all meant to happen. I was pleased it was you.
hey, why is the door open? Oh, I didn't know you were like on top of me. I must be going. We are preparing to anoint his body today. Follow your heart. You are a good man. Peace be with you. Who was that? That was Mary. Mother of Christ. What does she want? Uh, she came to forgive me. <laughs> really? She was happy. She was happy I was the one that... killed her son. I've heard talk that you may be giving some promotion. I'll be leaving the Legion. Did you hear what I just said? You'll be given a higher position and wage. I shall dictate a letter and you shall put it forth. I beg you to think about this action. Fetch me parchment and ink. Quick! It was decided you should see this. Do you wish to reply? May I enter? Yes. I'm sure you know why I'm here. I could wager. I can shout instructions to a thousand men, but I cannot find the right words for my only son. I understand. You've done all that you could have done for him. An honorary centurion's status was not easy to arrange, given your... I know. 
and I do appreciate all that you have done for me. Perhaps you'd like a seat or something to drink. No. No, I'd rather stand. Father. This is not for me. It is time for me to move on. My weakness has nothing to do with you. I should never have left you in the care of those magi all those years ago. No, they were great teachers. This was not Master Markira's fault, nor is it yours. Where will you go? What will you do? I, I worry about you. I will not always be here. I will be going home. Home? Yes. Mother. How will you travel? Don't worry. I had a good father who taught me how to survive. My son, the Christ Slayer. Another undeserving title. It's the talk of the court. Perhaps with this fame, now might be an ideal time for you to step down from service. You understand? I do understand. And I can tell that you have made up your mind and like your father, there's no changing that. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. I love you beyond words. Go. Go find happiness wherever that might be. Till we meet again, Father. A few more years I have before me. After I'll likely join you at home. Say hello to your mother for me. I miss her greatly. <sighs> A peaceful day. The water relaxes me. I want to talk with you about something. All right. Speak your mind. I think what you offer me is generous, but what if I want to go with you? I cannot ask that of you. Not your people. You'd be an outcast. I am an orphan. You're my only people. I would go where you go. They have more opportunities here. My best opportunity for happiness is with you. Their journey will be much easier with me. You're blind. I shall consider it, Alice. The Christ Slayer! Why? Why? Why would the one true God allow for his offspring to be born unto this world as a man? Ah! Why? 
Why me? Ah! 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 I think the price that you have offered to me is fair. If you say so. The proceeds minus our services to be dispersed in equal parts to the three parties. Perfect. May I ask of you something? Surely. Jesus of Nazareth. Do you know of him? No, did you? Once. He forgives you. for my mark. But of course. There. If this is a new beginning for you, Thank you for your time. Peace be with you. And to you, thank you. Interesting. Is it? What? What is Crispus? What brings you here so early? Have you had any visitors? Yes, we have. Why? You have. And? Have you been partaking in wine so early? No. Well, yes, hours ago, but not now. You're not making any sense. <sighs> Your visitor. Felix. Who? The Messiah. Sure, it's here too. She? Yes, the mother of the so-called Messiah. Is this what this is all about? The followers of Jesus told everybody that once entombed three days and three nights, he would rise from the dead. She said nothing about this. He's gone. Who? Jesus, from the tomb. Women came to perform some Jewish ritual and when they moved the rock, Jesus was gone. They were trying to say his followers stole the body. That's not what happened. No. Beware, if this Jesus has truly risen, he may seek revenge. Oh, oh, feel eyes upon me. 
They surely are. Keep your looks. Christmas is here. What is everyone's issue? If I didn't know better, I say they're afraid. Afraid of what? Perhaps there's Jesus. Perhaps retribution by his followers. I've had all I can take of this place. We leave tonight. Tomorrow, I want to wake up any place but here. Are you coming? said to have the curse of the Christ. So what? Drunk that from fearful nights. First they healed me as the Christ slayer. And now they accuse one of being inflicted. Christ curse? Another reason for me to leave. It's true. You're leaving. Yes, and what would you want me to do? Stay? For what? You look after him. I'll do my very best. You're good for him. Now this. He's really leaving. Yes. Perhaps that is best.
forever living in haze. You meant it. I cannot stand another moment in this cesspool. And Leah? Leah, a beautiful flower in a field of dumb. Mm. Very poetic. I spit in their eye. Wine me. It's plaything tonight. Huh? I could have sworn you had your sight as we left. I did. I knew it would happen. I'm not sure. My sight came and went that quickly. But that's twice, right? Yes. That sounds more like a blessing than a curse. Perhaps we have good travels ahead of us, Albus. Coin. All of it. Away, thief. Leave the boy alone. Someone's a dead man. Forgive any quarrel that we have upon this day. How? Don't. Forgive me. You ask. So you are. What? <laughs> Your reputation like me saved us. Spear. He most likely recognized that I was formerly- Oh, Christ! I think he recognized you. And this man who so kindly helped us. Keep running! Yeah! Many thanks for your good deeds. And to whom do we owe the appreciation to? I would not attempt to lie to a centurion. But I also do not wish to reveal myself. My help does not require recognition. How did you know I was a centurion? Your marks of legion the centurion spear. Any holes in you, young man? No more than a scratch, thanks to you. <laughs> Do you travel towards Alexandria? Near. We'll be avoiding the city. Perhaps for safety, we can travel together. Again, that is up to the centurion. I'm no longer a centurion. I wish to leave the life behind. And if we are to give each other false names, you should call me Cleopas. Very well, Cleopas. I want a name. Titus. Titus. Sure. And yours? Call me John. Gift of God. I like it. John. Are you an outlaw? To some. No longer. Cleopas, Titus, and John, three outlaws walking on the road to Emmaus. Why has he not left? Only he knows. Upon his awakening, he spoke to his womb mother and to his followers. Why does he remain? The kingdom awaits. He'll depart for the kingdom when he deems himself ready. I told you, life as a man was not for him. And he wanted the experience. To suffer and be reduced by specks. He should have gone elsewhere and started a new garden. It's brutal indeed. 
It was difficult to watch and do nothing. I'm pleased he's returning. Ungrateful creations, these mortals. Already they sing and beg of his return. I would think, after his reception here, he would leave mankind to their own. He has a deep love for them. <laughs> love. What is love when it's not returned, Gabriel? Weakness. Is it? Is love devotion? Is love loyalty? Is love a willingness to sacrifice life for another? Complex as these beings are, they have not the delicate grace found in a field of flowers. No divine scent that lingers in a sweet breeze after a rain. No warmth or breathtaking brilliance from the sun setting over the bluest of waters. I have seen beauty in mankind is not beautiful. His thoughts are not ours, nor his ways. Perhaps his time here on Earth has set in motion certain changes. Oh, wishful thinking, old friend. They will kill one another to claim his words. Words they will further pervert and distort to serve the agendas of ambitious, ambitious men seeking power. They will perform countless sins against one another while building their walls around what they see divinity to be. Sounds familiar. Justification for their sinful actions. When mankind has all but turned to dust, beauty and peace will reign again. You did not sleep. Neither did you. Speak your mind freely. I don't care what you do to me. But I can't have you harming the boy. Got the only weapon here. Sharp walking stick in the hands of a blind man. Looks dangerous enough. Have you ever seen a centurion spear up close? Once or twice. It's a symbol. Of our unified strength. Yes, but how much sorrow and suffering has it brought? It's brought much peace and order into a lawless land. How much peace and order has it brought you? Forgive me, I've overslept. Therein lies our newfound freedom, Albus. It's Titus. Now he knows my real name. Titus. We are late for nothing. Simply here. Now. Good to see you here, John. Where would I be? Someone thought you'd be gone by morning with everything you could steal. <laughs> really? I owe you on that one. It was a good wager, outlaw. Wouldn't you use your real name? I have to say that surprised me a bit. Mankind is so trusted. We've earned that reputation. Hmm. 
I'm going to suggest that we travel off the road to the port of Cyrene. Interesting. No Alexandria. Cities are get only to Rome. No cities. Are you able to travel the wilderness? Listen to your words. I was once a soldier. Marching was part of my everyday life. I can handle the wilderness. The question is, can you? I'll try. Could be days. I'll survive. Say that I haven't warned you. And what about navigation? That's a lot of faith that you're putting in. Oh, you have such a honest face, John. <laughs> I like off the road. No thieves and no murderers. But the wilderness, so much better. Lions, bears. Is there an animal more dangerous than man? I hope not. I feel like we're being watched. We're always being watched. Do I travel with too much haste? Your pace does not hinder us. Beautiful. The desert? All of it. Have you seen much of it? Fortunately, yes. I wish to see more. Glorious sights to behold are all around us. I'm not one to complain about my circumstances. But I cannot behold anything. Perhaps water would serve you better here. Away from me, boy. I wanted to assist you. You didn't sleep. You must be exhausted. Boy, you still treat me like a frail flower. I'm not weak. Even the strong fall sometimes. Curse you, boy! whole life has been a fall! It's hard to let those that you love fall or fail. But look where your anger has taken you. I saw you! It happened again? Just for a moment. But I saw you, John. Like the father I never had. That's how I loved you. I will never accept your unkind words. I know your heart. Strike me! It is forgiven. No. It would make me feel much better. You insist. That's just a piece of minutes like this. Strike me! Ah! I truly do wish to hear your thoughts on this man, Jesus. I believe this Jesus, if divinely sent, brought about change much too quickly. People are not ready. Will they ever be ready? For what? The invitation to return to the kingdom of the Father. The fear of some final, fiery, eternal death and damnation? have many believe that they are already. I hope he's a god of forgiveness and mercy. Why? Because we're not worthy. If worthy is ready, no one will ever be. Perhaps his sacrifice can atone for the shortcomings of mankind. <laughs> yes, but why? Why live a ruthless, despicable life only to find forgiveness at the very end. Is that the way, his way? If 
They ask for forgiveness. I'm sure that it will be given. You think his death is such a good thing? I don't believe it to be so. The Messiah ministry is surely to grow like a child without guidance. Will they hunt us down? Surely not. John, how can you say that with any certainty? One can go about preaching about love and peace for those words to fall upon hateful hearts. Your faith in mankind is heavily tainted. Tainted by truth, my friend. Mark my words. Many will die in his name, and many more will kill in his name. And is that what he intended? What will they make of his words a thousand years from now? What will become of his original teachings? Point worth considering. Peace be with you on this night. Peace be with you. We're told this vessel can make it to Anaxium. You heard correct. You can take payment for your services. Always. Uh, how many passengers? Three. I thought you had to part ways here. After hearing of such a beautiful place, I must see it myself. We'll pay half now, and half upon arrival. What's your name? Old Salt is what we were given. I've gone by many names. You can call me Salt. The old part is not so attractive. Very well. I'm Cleopas. This is Titus and John. I see. We're all known by many names. The boat is stocked, prepared to depart, if that's what you wish. I'm exhausted. Let us be off. Agreed. Welcome aboard. My darkest corners and sideways shadows are illuminated by your luminous light. Just get yourself settled, and we'll get this voyage underway. The lion will no longer torment him. Do you not miss love? You know the power of it. I think you are the one way to his truth. Enlightening him to love as they experience it. The Almighty was very decisive in the early days of creation. He commanded from a place of great strength and was easily displeased. 
He was quick to destroy deviation, to create a new, but to him, it was only rebirth. You died for their sins and his impossible standard. Was it painful? Death? Say it. What words do you wish to hear? Declare I was right. Man is an unpredictable creature. No. Man is always predictable. To be unpredictable. Made in his image. As are you. Let me tell you a tale I heard from a Greek sailor. Zeus, favored son of the Titans, thrice been fooled by Prometheus. Zeus demanded an impossible sacrifice be made from each man. Prometheus refused. And how did Zeus react? He ordered Prometheus dragged to the distant mountains, chained in a darkened place where pain was inflicted daily. What angered Zeus more was that Prometheus would not speak the mother's name whose child would dethrone Zeus. You want to know the name? Of whom? The mother whose son would dethrone Zeus? Mary. Her name is Mary. You're the child to dethrone God with your newly acquired insights. No. I will sit in honor beside him. The throne does not empower my father. My father empowers the throne. The sun of a new day welcomes us. <clears throat> Where are we? <clears throat> Where's the boat? Gone. We've arrived. How? You were exhausted. You slept. Now you're here. Shall we get you home? I think I saw a path not far from here. What line is your family home? If you travel west, look for the village. Look for the date trees. Who resides there? Sabina, father's sister. Well, should be filled with joy to see you after all these years. Joy. As I remember, she was joyous to all. An overflowing bowl of sunshine. An overflowing bowl of sunshine sounds exactly like what you need. Approaches. Oh, sunshine. It's me. It's Longinus. Hadrian's boy? <laughs> One in the same. Is that you, Sabina? <laughs> Forgive me. Oh. These eyes aren't what they once were. That makes the two of us. Are you going to tell her? Hmm? Mind your tongue, the man who's just arrived. 
And who is this handsome man? Titus. And this is John. Welcome, John. Titus? Titus is too formal. Why don't you address me as Albus? Welcome, Albus. Thank you for your kindness. Well, let's get you all cleaned up. Hmm? Who's hungry? I am. Okay. Come this way. Dwelling is so peaceful. Yours to enjoy. He told you how we're blood? Your brother's his father. Yes. Mm. He's a great man, a great warrior. <laughs> is he now? Mm-hmm. Convent the emperor. And he grew up here? In the early years. When his father was assigned, he was sent off. Where? Our grandfather is a part of a priestly order to the east. He was sent there for keeping an education. She's putting you to sleep with her entire family history. <laughs> Stop. I'm proud of our history. I have clean clothes prepared, if you follow me. Until she finds out that the Chrysler is part of our proud family history. Does it fit? <laughs> I wish you all could have met him. Daniel. A hearty laugh. The best smile. And a heart like a bear. Those are fond memories. Mm, yes. He now dwells in a better place. Surely he does. What would you have me do with these? To me. Go eat. Go. They're healthy. <laughs> Popular amongst the village and beyond. A beautiful creation. Keep up, boy. How do you pass your days here? Well, I tend to the dates. I also treat the sick and help bring new life into our world occasionally. There's something special about that journey. Each mother brings something divine to mankind, just as your mother did with you. With me? Mm. How was that? Hope. Hope for a better tomorrow is the greatest gift. Mm. Do you want me to come with you? He goes to visit his mother. Come on.
The boy's resting. It's been a long journey. John, I'm washing your clothes. They're badly stained with blood. My name is not John. It's Jesus. And my intuition was correct. You are knowing. You are the son of God, recently executed in Jerusalem. Said to have been reborn. <sighs> and so I am. Ah. <sighs> Did being born a man give you new insight? How could it not? I recommend experiencing life as a woman. We're different. <laughs> That's being kind. Man afraid of losing treated you so poorly. For that, I am truly sorry. Yes. But many men showed me love and kindness. Hold on to that. Don't give up on us. Don't give up on what? You're back. I was starting to worry. How does it feel to be home? Different. Does the market still operate? Uh, at this time, only the wine garden's open. Don't you wish to rest? I have plenty of days to rest. I wish to go. Same direction? Yes. I will travel with him. Bless you. Some feel they must walk alone. It does not have to be so. And yet, men often choose that very path. Move swiftly for a man without sight. Longing for wine will do that to a man. Does Luna sit in the sky? Oh, yes. A beautiful manifestation of God's glory. Ah, you sound passionate. I try. You no longer feel this way. So why did you leave your position? The Centurions. Yes. I no longer felt I was making a difference. So I left.
Wherever you go, I shall follow. You were scared, I saw you, but you didn't see me, cause you're blind. <laughs> <laughs> This used to be a quiet little place. Everything changes. Oh, it's at our table. Almost feels like our place back home. That place is no longer our home, Alice. Never again. Will you be eating? Eating? Yes, we will be eating food, but not yet, but not now, but we'll be eating cheese and bread and... And wine. And water, please. Lots of wine. Would you share a nectar of the grape with me, John? Perhaps. Can I help you? Probably not. Just curious where you acquired a spear of such craftsmanship. A spear is not for sale. <laughs> you, you think I want to purchase it? I do not know what you're looking to do. Thank you. Do you wish to break bread with us? What's your name? Gaius. I'm in a census. I protect this village. Now you're doing a very good job from what I can see. I feel safer already. That depends on what you're here for. Wine. Is the girl here? Yeah, I'm here. Wine, please. <laughs> you're blind. Observe him. Two unknowns solved by Gaius. Be all-knowing. Don't. Are you mocking me? No. Are you mocking me? I believe I might be. He's dead. I do not understand the reasoning behind your approach. Are you an admirer of crafted metals? A bully to the blind? What do you seek to gain here? What do I seek? We have traveled a long distance, and all we wish to do is break bread in peace. Yeah? So let us cease this exchange until you have truly something worthy to say. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, sacred is his name. His kingdom come. His will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It's gone. I thought we were gonna be troubled. There's only one troubled person here at this table. Here we are, fresh red wine. Would you like to sample our cheeses? I sure would. I picked something up for all of us. You may leave the wine. Thank you. Salute. I have nothing on my mind. 
to going home. To going home. Ugh.